Crafting competition? Yes. Is that a snack or a craft? That's a craft! Surround yourself with protection. Well, you can play the 2020 Nissan Altima. With available Safety Shield 360 technologies, six systems that help look out for you. This is all around protection. This is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Get a low $199 per month lease on Altima or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 12 models. The spirit of Christmas is repeated over and over again through the joys of caring and sharing. KGET and Bakersfield Family Medical Center. It's going to be very chilly, so just keep that in mind. We saw those showers, uh, but it's still going to be pretty cool out there, so definitely grab a coat if you're making your way outdoors. Golden Hills right now, I want you to take a live look at this picture. It is cloudy, 31 degrees, very cool. And we're seeing some snow out there, gorgeous conditions. Arvin, we are seeing 49 degrees, mostly cloudy, though, and we are going to see uh, that. Black Friday sales event at Bill Wright Toyota is the biggest sale of the year. Get the car, truck, or SUV you've always wanted and saved thousands. You can now get employee pricing on every 2019 in stock. Get 0% financing up to 60 months on all 2019 Camrys, Tacomas, and Tundras. Get 0.9 financing on all new 2019 Highlanders. Don't miss the break tonight, but things are going to pick back up by this weekend. I'll get into the details in our pinpoint weather forecasts in just a little bit. All right, Vanessa, thanks. Well, it was a hectic holiday on the roads yesterday with snow and rain slowing down and at some points bringing traffic to a standstill. Interstate 5 completely shut down for hours due to the snow. Closure started early Thursday morning. Caltrans advised people to find an alternate route through the 101 or Highway 58. A few hours later, the southbound lanes of I-5 opened back up with CHP pacing traffic over the pass. By the afternoon, the northbound lanes were open again. People were able to make it through for a few hours before the weather caused the five to shut down yet again about 10 o'clock last night. Caltrans tweeting just after midnight that the lanes reopened during the night and the CHP is escorting traffic. Highway 58 also faced closures due to the, the snow. That route towards Southern mm. California through Mojave closed around 10 yesterday morning. The route eventually opened again, but the CHP at Fort Tejon cautioned drivers who wanted to go through the area. Currently, there are no road closures, but you are advised to continue to drive safely. And as always, uh, we want to keep you safe out there on the roadways, no matter if you're driving through town or if you're headed out of the valley. So keep these tips in mind, if you would. Please plan ahead before leaving the house. Make sure your tank is full of gas and you have an alternate route in mind, just in case the one you've chosen is blocked. Uh, Chains are a good idea for cars, especially if you're going to be driving through an area that has seen snow in... Uh, uh, the recent hours, last couple days, but the CHP says uh, even if you do have chains, it won't make a difference if they decide to block a major highway. You will not be allowed through. Here in California, we're not really used to this kind of weather, so make sure to exercise caution while driving. Leave, leave extra room between your vehicle and the one in front of you. Be sure not to speed on the roadways where ice and rain are creating hazards. Caltrans also warns you not to crowd snow plows if you happen to be driving near or behind them. And just in case you get stuck on the roadways, be prepared for the weather. Bring an extra jacket, some blankets. Also a good idea to keep some extra water and non-perishable food items in your car. Before you hit the road in inclement weather, always call 1-800-GAS-ROAD for the latest road conditions. Well, following the big feast, the biggest shopping day of the year is upon us. 17's Amber Frias is joining us live from Valley Plaza tonight with the final hours of Black Friday. Amber, how's it looking out there? Tammy, it is very busy out here. This parking lot is very busy. I mean, it was really hard for us to find parking, in fact, and inside the mall, there was huge crowds, so it is very busy still at this time, but even though it is busy right now, I do want to point out that we have noticed that there is less people out shopping compared to years past. There are smaller crowds, you know, there's less people waiting in line, certainly a lot less people than previous years. 
a site that defined Black Friday. Overnight campers staking out turf in advance of the biggest shopping day of the year. Well, that was video from two years ago. Black Friday camping might now be a thing of the past. How long have you been here waiting in line? Uh, about two hours. I got here at three. Doors opened at five. That's not all. The number of shoppers on our streets was also visibly less than in years past. I feel like there's a little bit of people today compared to other years. Surprisingly, it was quiet, um, but it was raining, so I'm sure that's part, part of it. According to new studies, more and more of shopping happens online. The National Retail Federation reports that 83% of people plan to buy their gifts online this year. Big retailers like Walmart and Best Buy are even offering online-only deals that you can't get in stores. And with a condensed shopping season this year, many Americans had already begun making purchases. Consumers polled by the NRF in the first week of this month had already done almost a quarter of their holiday shopping. Still, Black Friday remains a big day for large retailers. According to Retail Me Not, it is a top shopping day for both online and in-store transactions. I came out here and got the Oculus Rift S with a PlayStation Pro, one terabyte, got me a new computer new monitor and another laptop just so I can get my gaming stuff set up. And there are many who still prefer the in-person attention. I don't want to wait. I just want to get it right in my hands. It's just the experience, I think. I mean, it's different. You could do it at home, but there's nothing like going out in the crowd and getting out there, you know? I love it. One thing's for sure, people are definitely trying to make a dent in their holiday shopping list without making such a big dent in their wallets. It's a time to get out and enjoy, and it's all about the holidays. It just depends on how they choose to do that. Now, if you're still debating on whether to head out tonight and get some Black Friday shopping on, well, you can head to our website and we have a complete list of stores, their hours, and the deals they have going on. For now, I'm live at Valley Plaza, Amber Frias, 17 News. All right, Amber, thank you. Now, while the deals at the big box stores may seem tempting, a lot of business owners here in Bakersfield want you to remember to shop local as well. 17's Taylor Schaub now with more. Taylor? With Black Friday and Cyber Monday bookending this Thanksgiving weekend, millions of Americans have their holiday wish list in check, Jim. But did you know that there's another major shopping day that falls this Saturday? On a day where thousands looking for deals descend upon their favorite big box stores, many mom and pop shops are hoping folks stay local and save money for Small Business Saturday. Brookhounds off Rosedale Highway is one of many stores counting on shoppers to skip the big lines for some friendlier confines. If you want fantastic customer service, if you want prices that really can't be beat in terms of books and media, um, and I think most importantly, if you want that sort of community feeling um, that this is the place to be. A quality that has mom Joyce Smallwood skipping the mall madness. I just like the the time and the, the care that you get from the small mom and pop places that you don't get at, you know, bigger retailers. Bruce Cooper, co-owner of Merry Go Round Antique Mall, also wants people to know that shopping local helps boost Bakersfield's economy. Uh, the taxes go to the city, which helps our police. It's just so much better than going online and taking the money away from the city. Sarah McAtee, who was born and raised in the Golden Empire, echoed those thoughts. And they're competing with the larger businesses, so just to keep it in town and like help the economy within Bakersfield because it is growing so much so it's good to keep the money here as much as possible. Cook Hounds believes the best way to do that embrace the communal aspect that brick and mortar stores bring. I think that rather than it just being a transactional experience it can be a community experience and that's kind of what we try to cultivate here. Over here. An idea Cooper has employed for six years, setting up a free Santa meet and greet outside his shop on Saturday. One of the many things leaving Smallwood and their daughter excited to explore tomorrow's festivities. My plan for tomorrow is um, actually my daughter and I are googling a lot of other smaller businesses so we're gonna hit up some businesses like book counts today and then tomorrow. This year's event will also feature a new pop-up market showcasing work from some local designers and creators titled Shop Small Bako. The stands will be located in the parking lot of East Chester Eatery. In the studio, Taylor Shab, 17 News.
Taylor, thanks. Shop till you drop. That's what a lot of locals, as you saw, are doing this weekend. And law enforcement is working extra hard to ensure you're safe while you check off your Christmas shopping list. Bakersfield, Delano, and Tehachapi Police Departments are patrolling crowded shopping centers to keep you safe. In Bakersfield, Chief Lyle Martin said there will be an increased presence of officers at the mall for the holiday shopping season. This comes after the shooting at the Valley Plaza Mall earlier this week that left two people wounded. <laughs> But the chief clarified that the response won't be any different than what they usually do for the holidays. Making news around town, perhaps you've seen that gigantic red tent in the southwest corner of F Street and Golden State Avenue in Central Bakersfield. Well, inside that tent, a display that promises to showcase the true meaning of Christmas. Christmas Wonderland debuts tonight in downtown Bakersfield. Inside that tent, families can walk room to room. Each room centered on the best that Christmas has to offer and the reason for the season, the birth of Jesus Christ. There are also outdoor activities for the kids and much, much more. The doors open at 6 p.m. tonight. You can find Christmas Wonderland at the City Serve Outreach Center, 3201 F Street. Holiday celebrations will continue this weekend. You can enjoy Bakersfield's third annual Christmas tree lighting event, and that takes place tomorrow. You can enjoy seasonal music, vendors, food, and a live nativity scene that moves throughout Centennial Plaza. Plus, meet Santa and Mrs. Claus. Can you can ask for your Christmas wishes. Mayor Karen Goh and other city leaders will be in attendance. The holiday extravaganza all kicks off at Centennial Plaza in front of Mechanics Bank Arena at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. Well, it may not be the North Pole, but it sure looks like it. Christmas Town is back at the Kern County Museum. You can step into a different time and place as you move beneath the glittering canopy of lights at Christmas Town surrounding a 40 foot tall Christmas tree. Yep, that's right. You heard right. It's 40 feet tall. <laughs> the crisp winter air will certainly sparkle to life as holiday lights twinkle and warm everyone with familiar Christmas music. This unforgettable event starts tomorrow and ends December 31st. It will be closed though on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. For more information on Christmas Town, you can head to our website at kget.com. Hundreds of businesses suffered big time losses during the public safety power shutoffs here in California. Ahead tonight on 17 News at 6, a look at what the state is now trying to do to help those business owners recoup their losses. And still ahead here at 5. Two of those injured in this attack in the London Bridge area have tragically lost their lives. A man stabbed several people during a rampage on the London Bridge. New at 5.30, why police are calling it a terrorist attack. And details tonight on a hunting accident involving a young boy and his father. On 17 News at 5 continues. Tonight, a husband shot in bed as his wife slept. It was all just taken away in a matter of a moment. Who would kill him but leave her alive? I said, what did you do? What did you do? Dateline tonight, 10, 9 central. Crafting competition? Yes. Is that a snack or a craft? That's a craft. Surround yourself with protection. Well, you can play the, the 2020 Nissan Altima. With available Safety Shield 360 technologies. Six systems that help look out for you. This is all around protection. This is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Get a low $199 per month lease on Altima. Or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 12 models. The spirit of Christmas is repeated over and over again through the joys of caring and sharing. KGET and Bakersfield Family Medical Center invite you to be part of the 2019 Christmas for Seniors. This program provides basic living necessities for pre-selected, low-income, homebound, isolated seniors in our community. You can participate by donating personal hygiene supplies as well as pet supplies. For more information, visit Christmas for Seniors of Kern County on Facebook. 
The Black Friday sales event at Bill Wright Toyota is the biggest sale of the year. Get the car, truck, or SUV you've always wanted and save thousands. You can now get employee pricing on every 2019 in stock. Get 0% financing up to 60 months on all 2019 Camrys, Tacomas, and Tundras. Get 0.9 financing on all new 2019 Highlanders. Don't miss Bill Wright Toyota's huge Black Friday sales event. Doing it right for 49 years and still doing it right. Toyota, let's go places. 17 News is brought to you by Bakersfield Christmas Town. Come visit Santa any night through December 31st. All right, we are back checking out the forecast, and Vanessa Dillon is standing by. Yep, and Tammy, you know what? We saw those showers head over to Kern County over the last several days, and things are finally starting to clear up slightly. Here is some activity going on here as far as showers going in uh, our region. We are going to see them go through uh, later this evening and possible chances of showers later uh, tomorrow afternoon, and I'll get into the details in just a little bit. But right now, current conditions, we are seeing Cool conditions, 49 in Arvin, 44 in Taft, 50 in Bakersfield. We're looking at 27 in Fraser Park, 39 in Lake Isabella, 49 in Wasco. So definitely a slightly chillier. If anything, uh, if you're heading out the doors, you might want to grab a coat. It is cool out there. For 18-hour future cast, like I mentioned, we are seeing some activity uh, tonight as far as some showers go and some slight drizzle. But then things start to clear up tomorrow through tomorrow morning. And then there's a higher chance of rain in the later evening hours. We're looking around. After 5 o'clock is when we see chances of rain in Kern County. For our regional conditions, though, we are seeing cooler conditions pretty much across the board. Of course, we just saw uh, the end of that storm here. 50 in Bakersfield, 56 in Los Angeles, San Diego. You're looking at 57 degrees, 48 in Fresno, as well as San Francisco. As far as how much rain we had here in Kern County, we did see about one-tenth of an inch of rain. And then we even saw an inch of rain uh, through 11 o'clock Wednesday morning. Uh, but it looks like things are going to be a little milder this weekend. We're looking at some slightly different conditions. We're just seeing about about a quarter of an inch of rain through Monday, um, and that's expected later this evening. For our future snow model, we are seeing about one four, one to four inches of rain in Lake Isabella was what we expected and what we saw. Uh, so definitely a big slew of snow out there for us. For Valley Forecast 50s across the board, some slight chances of rain. We're also seeing those 30s in those evening hours. 30 percent chance of 30 percent chance of rain specifically. For the mountains, we are still seeing chances of snow, even 30% chances of snow through tomorrow morning. 40s across the board, 31 in Bear Valley, 37 Stallion Springs, 36 in Tehachapi. And the desert, we are seeing a wind advisory into go into effect through tonight. 8 o'clock is when that should be uh, coming to an end there. 40s pretty much across the board, looking at 20, 22, 25 degrees in those later evening hours. For our valley forecast, we are seeing still some possibilities, some of some showers this weekend, but very unlikely. Uh, just through those later evening hours in is when we can see that drizzle. And then into next week is when we see those showers again by next Wednesday. Even in the mountains, we're looking at a higher chance of rain by next Wednesday, but for the most part, we're looking at some cloudier conditions uh, into next week. So definitely not as severe weather conditions as what we saw, obviously, earlier this week. Taking a look at our Kern Valley forecast as well, we're seeing those uh, slight chances of rain into the weekend. Again, like I mentioned it, it would be something pretty uh, mild, but for the most part, we're seeing that showers pick up by next Wednesday again in the valley. So it's just gonna come and come and go. Yes. <laughs> it's not a roller coaster ride, it's a it snow really ride. Is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Exactly. Lots of snow from the storm. Right. We're back with more news right after the break. It's the most wonderful time of the year with 0% APR on the 2019 Lincoln lineup. Bring joy to the world during the Lincoln Wishlist sales event at Jim Burke Lincoln. Have you been laid off and want to get back to work quickly? America's Job Center in California offers no-cost training and employment services for out-of-work job seekers. If you already have job skills and just need a kickstart, we offer four-day job search classes to help you. Or if you need to develop new job skills, we offer no-cost training opportunities in a variety of industries. For more information, please call 325-HIRE or visit our website. America's Job Center.
home at Jim Burke Lincoln. Select your price, payment, and protection plan. Get a trade-in offer. Pick up your vehicle. Easy, confident shopping. That's Jim Burke Lincoln. I stole from my family, my friends, loved ones, everybody, and I ended up screwing them over. If this sounds like you or someone you love, then it's time to call the Addiction Recovery Network. The Addiction Recovery Network ensures that everyone who calls receives the right treatment for anyone needing treatment for alcohol abuse, drug addiction, or dependence on prescription medications. Plus, ARN can tell you if your insurance will cover your treatment. The people at ARN have the solution for you. I called. Make the free call now. We are back now with news making headlines around the nation. President Trump is in Florida tonight after making a surprise flight to Afghanistan to visit our troops there. And while there, the president made a surprise announcement that the Taliban is now ready to negotiate a possible ceasefire in that war ravaged country. But military experts say the Taliban should never be trusted. NBC's Jennifer Johnson has our report tonight from Washington. President Trump celebrating Thanksgiving with U.S. troops in Afghanistan after a secret 13-hour flight, his first visit to the war-torn country. There's nowhere I'd rather celebrate this Thanksgiving than right here with the toughest, strongest, best and bravest warriors on the face of the earth. The president announcing the U.S. is again talking to the Taliban after abruptly canceling secret negotiations with the militant group at Camp David days before 9-11. The timing and the location of that meeting was sharply criticized. The Taliban wants to make a deal and we're meeting with them and we're saying it has to be a ceasefire. But some military experts doubt the Taliban will ever really stand down anywhere outside of Kabul. The rest of the country is run by tribes, is virtually lawless and has been since anybody can remember. So it's going to be difficult, if not impossible, for the United States to impose its will. President Trump was joined at Bagram Airfield by Afghan President Ashraf Ghani, who thanked U.S. troops for making his country safer. With your support, what we have done to wipe out Al-Qaeda South Asia is tremendous, and thank you. Close to 13,000 U.S. troops remain in Afghanistan. President Trump wants to get the number down to over 8,000. But a Taliban ceasefire remains the stumbling block. After this holiday weekend, the impeachment inquiry of the president continues. On Wednesday, the House Judiciary Committee takes over the investigation and has invited the president himself to testify. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington. Some sad news to pass along. A nine-year-old boy has died in South Carolina after he was accidentally shot by his father while hunting. Family members say Colton Williams was rabbit hunting with his father and a family friend on Thanksgiving Day. Authorities say that's when his dad accidentally shot him. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources says the incident happened in the town of Springfield in Orangeburg County. So sad. Now that the holiday season is upon us, are you feeling a little more stressed out? Well, in tonight's 17 Health Watch, we have some tips for lowering your anxiety so you can enjoy the season. Plus, Thanksgiving usually means leftovers, the best way to enjoy them safely after the break. The spirit of giving, the thrill of saving, the magic of the season. Experience the outlets at Tahone for the holidays and create unforgettable memories. It's a shopping destination unlike any other, with something for everyone on your gift list and fun for the whole family. Save up to 65% on more than 60 of the top brands in fashion, accessories, and home goods. It's all waiting for you at the outlets at Tahone, your must-shop stop for the holidays. I-5 and Highway 99, just south of Bakersfield. Did you know that Mazda has been named the best car brand by U.S. News & World Report? Right now, purchase any new 2019 or 2020 Mazda and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and no payments for 90 days. That means zero, zilch, nada for 90 days. That can sure come in handy for the holidays. Come join the happy family of Mazda owners today and get 0.9% financing for 60 months and zero payments for 90 days. Visit Bakersfield Mazda in the Auto Mall. 
The biggest mattress sale of the year is this Black Friday weekend at All Earners Z's Please Sleep Centers, Kern County's number one mattress dealer. Save on America's best brands like Tempur-Pedic, iComfort, Sealy, and more. Plus up to 60 months special financing or no sales tax. With our 100-night sleep trial and free same-day delivery, it's just too good to miss. So if a good night's sleep and saving money are important, don't miss the Black Friday mattress sale at Z's Please Sleep Center. How do I use better than bouillon? I just add a spoonful to my marinades. To stir fries? Sauces. Just whisk it in. Brush it on? Saute. It adds a cooked all day taste. That doesn't take all day. Better than bouillon. Don't just make it, make it better. <laughs> Yummy lip balm. Yummy lip balm? My lips get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's Lip Repair. It's all day moisture in one use and is guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my lips back. We are back now with your 17 Health Watch. Fewer children are dying as a result of choking. That is according to a recent study from Wayne State University. Researchers studied 50 years of national data and found there were nearly 21,000 object-related choking deaths in children under the age of 17. 719 kids died in 1968, but that dropped dramatically to 184 in 2017. Scientists say while a number of laws and regulations were adopted during that time, they can't determine their effect on the decline. It's officially the holiday season, the most wonderful and stressful time of year. But there are ways you can reduce that December anxiety. Mental health experts with Furman University say, first, don't obsess about holiday traditions if they're causing you extra stress. Focus on the ones that are most important to you and let everything else go. If finances are a concern, change your approach to gift giving. Instead of buying a person several gifts, choose one or two that are the most meaningful. And lastly, get plenty of sleep, eat a healthy diet, and try to exercise regularly to help with the stress. Well, we tend to have a lot of leftovers during the holidays, and tonight reporter Holly Furfer shows you how to eat them safely. Part of the fun of the holidays is eating the big family meal and enjoying delicious leftovers. Following some simple rules can keep our food safe. For starters, make sure we don't leave it sitting out longer than two hours, and we want to make sure that we chill it appropriately as well. Whether that's the turkey or a casserole, get it into the refrigerator quickly to keep bad bacteria from multiplying. Put your food in airtight containers because that air fuels the bacteria. So you want to keep that air out. The temperature of your refrigerator should be set below 40 degrees to ensure that the food will stay safe. You may want to get a thermometer if your fridge does not have one. And when it's time to reheat the leftovers, bring the temperature back up to the level needed when cooked the first time. We want to make sure that the poultry is at least at 165. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics says we should eat the leftovers within three to four days. And if you have any concerns about safety... If in doubt, throw it out is a nice motto. For today's Health Minute, I'm Holly Furfer. Just ahead, a daring rescue during the height of this week's storm. New at 5.30, we'll show you first responders trying to help dozens of migrants who got stuck in a storm drain. And new information tonight on an officer-involved shooting here in Bakersfield where deputies shot a dog that was on the attack. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by Bill Wright Toyota. Come test drive the new 2019 RAV4. This is the biggest used car sale of the year at Bill Wright Toyota. Save thousands on every car, truck, and SUV during our huge Black Friday sales event. Get an 08 Mercury Sable for only $18.95 or an 08 Xterra for $3,900. How about an 07 Accord for $54.95 or an 05 Highlander, 07 Camry, or 14 Versa for just $5,900. Even an 11 Matrix for just $68.95. Save thousands at Bill Wright Toyota's Black Friday event. Doing it right for 49 years and still doing it right. Toyota, let's go for it. It's that magical time of year again, and the Marketplace is the destination this holiday season to find all that you're looking for at one convenient location. With over 50 unique shops, exceptional dining and entertainment, you're sure to find gifts that will wow them. Come celebrate the holidays with us, and as a special thanks, receive a free photo with Santa when you spend $25 at any Marketplace location. Gifts of fitness, fashion, food, and more. You'll find it all at the Marketplace, 9000 Ming Avenue in Bakersfield. It's the best time of the year, baby, baby, it's the best time. This Black Friday, the gift.
gift you really want is at Nissan's Black Friday event. Save big on our tech-filled lineup. Like Rogue with available Safety Shield 360 or Altima with available intelligent all-wheel drive. Hurry in now. Get a low $199 per month lease on Altima or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 12 models. Donald Trump failed as a businessman. He borrowed billions and left a trail of bankruptcy and broken promises. He hasn't changed. I started a tiny investment business and over 27 years grew it successfully to $36 billion. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message. I'm running for president because unlike other candidates, I can go head to head with Donald Trump on the economy and expose him for what he is, a fraud and a failure. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 5.30. Welcome back. New at 5.30, a man wearing a simulated explosive device went on a stabbing spree near London Bridge today, killing two and wounding three others before he was shot and killed by police. Authorities are saying British police are calling the attack a terrorist incident. NBC's Dan Shineman reports. It was in the afternoon near London Bridge when police say a man began to attack, stabbing five people. Two of those injured in this attack in the London Bridge area have tragically lost their lives. My heart goes out to their loved ones and to the three further injured victims who I understand are being treated in hospital. Video of the incident shows citizens attacking the attacker. Police who were on the scene in minutes then shot and killed the assailant. I want to thank our brave emergency services who responded to today's horrific attack. I also want to pay tribute to the extraordinary bravery of those members of the public who physically intervened uh, to protect the lives of others. The assailant, police say, was wearing what appeared to be an explosive vest. I can confirm at this time, we believe a device that was strapped to the body of the suspect is a hoax explosive device. Police are not looking for any other suspects. As for the motive, police have declared it an act of terrorism. Fighting terrorism takes effort and determination from all of us. This country will never be cowed or divided or intimidated by this sort of attack and our values, our British values, will prevail. The Prime Minister called on the public to remain vigilant. Dan Shenneman, NBC News. Here at home, a large dog that was shot by sheriff's deputies after attacking a bystander on Thanksgiving Day is in stable condition tonight. The incident happened around noon yesterday near Fairfax Road and Nile Street. Deputies were first called to check on the man who was walking that dog along with three other large dogs. And while deputies were there, the dog attacked a person who was simply walking by. Deputies shot the dog to stop the attack. It's unclear how many times the dog was shot. The man walking the dogs was placed under arrest for public intoxication and delaying an investigation. The investigation continues into an attempted robbery at an East Bakersfield market that left one man dead. According to the sheriff's office, three people entered the N and H market in the 1200 block of Pearl Street on Wednesday and tried to rob the store. The department says someone inside the store shot at and wounded one of the suspected robbers. A gun battle then ensued and one suspect was shot, suffered critical injuries and died at the scene. That's according to the sheriff's department. The two others took off. This is a developing story. We will continue to update you as we get more information. Also making news around the state tonight, migrants trying to enter the U.S. at the California-Mexico border were rescue, rescued from a storm drain. Customs and Border Patrol and San Diego firefighters rescued 20 Mexican and Guatemalan migrants uh, Thursday night and into this morning. The group tried to enter the U.S. illegally through a drainage tube located near the San Ysidro port of entry. There was unusually heavy rainfall in the area Thursday. They caused water to rise in that tube, putting the migrants at risk. 
One person was discovered dead on the beach. Hours later, others were taken to a hospital for treatment. The Border Patrol says they will all be processed for Ill illegal entry into the country. Hundreds of people were blessed with a warm Thanksgiving dinner in their home away from home yesterday. Between five and 600 people showed up to bask in the holiday traditions and enjoy some time with the only family they know, the people at the Mission at Kern County. Attendees enjoyed quality time with one another, live music, and a lot of friendly faces. About 120 volunteers helped to deliver, uh, serve food, the holiday tradition on Thanksgiving morning. Everyone filled their bellies with food and their spirits with gratitude. It's a good time to be there. Thanks to the generous hearts of many local folks and 2018 AT&T field employees, close to 700 people had a delicious Thanksgiving meal as well. For its 20th year, the Blessing Corner organized this giving event. 35 turkeys, 20 hams, all the fixins were donated to prepare a meal that reminded everyone of the real spirit of Thanksgiving. The celebration has a very special meaning for many of the volunteers who helped out. Because we were, we were at one time homeless ourselves, didn't know where to go, we can empathize with the people that we serve because we know that, you know, it makes all the difference to have a hot meal on a day like today. Ah, Pastor Bonnie, God love her. She says this tradition is dear to her heart and she's thankful for all the help from the community and AT&T employees. The event took place at the Blessing Corner Ministries on Union Avenue in Central Bakersfield. Well, after you've done your cooking, if you have leftover holiday grease, don't dump it. Take it to the city of Bakersfield drop-off points instead. Once again this year, the city is collecting grease at its wastewater treatment plant. Three at 6901 McCutcheon Road. You can also drop off grease at north of the River Sanitation District's main office at 204 Universe Avenue. And both spots will take grease beginning Monday, December 2nd, and each week, Monday through Friday, from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. through January 10th. The event is closed December 24th, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, as well as New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And if you'd like more information, you can call 326 3249. Many shoppers are breaking with tradition this Black Friday. We'll tell you what's different about this year's bargain hunt. Still ahead here at 5. And you can dust off those skis. We'll show you where the ski season is already underway. North Bakersfield Toyota's Black Friday sales event is happening this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This weekend only, you pay what we pay on all brand new 2019 inventory. That's right, employee pricing happening all weekend long. Take advantage of financing as low as 0% or rebates as large as $3,500. Save up to $6,000 on a brand new Highlander during our Black Friday sales event. With over 350 new vehicles to choose from, this is a sale you don't want to miss. North Bakersfield Toyota, Freeway 99 and 7 Standard. Hi there, it's Les Schwab Tires. Well, more like Les Schwab alignment and brakes and shocks and wheels and tires. Some tire places don't offer all that, but we do to help keep you safe. Stop by or book an appointment at leschwab.com. Right now, save up to $100 on a set of four select passenger tires to help keep you safe in any weather. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Attention homeowners and contractors, stop driving to Los Angeles for quartz, granite, or cabinetry. Shop Factory Direct right here in Bakersfield and save thousands at J Home Improvements. Like these granite prefab countertops starting at $99, or these 10-foot quartz big slabs starting at $1076 per square foot. Need kitchen cabinets? Buy now and get free installation. Buy Factory Direct today and save thousands. Visit J Home Improvement, 3209 Lanco Drive. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by The Point at Summit Hills, a quality assisted living and memory care community. Call today to schedule a visit to our community. I got 50% off everything. At Central Valley Honda Dealers, 14 days of Black Friday. Get door busting deals without busting anything at all on Civic and more. See your Central Valley Honda dealer. And now your KGET.com pros who know. If you're injured at work, these are the three things you need to do. Report the injury, request a claim form, and advise your supervisor if medical treatment is needed. For more expert advice, go to KGET.com slash pros who know. 
All right, check this out. The ski season got off to a great start today at a resort in Southern California. The Bear Mountain Ski Resort in Big Bear had four feet of new snow on its opening day today. That's the amount of snowfall they got just over the past 48 hours. The snowfall closed many of the oh, roads leading man. to Big Bear on Thanksgiving Day. But wow, check that out. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, fresh powder. Nothing better. Speaking of fresh snow, we definitely saw our fair share here in the mountains. But let's talk about the city right now. 50 degrees here in Bakersfield and some calm winds at 5 miles per hour with humidity levels at 57 percent, a dew point at 35. Uh, we did see a clear up today. I saw the sun and it looked beautiful out there, but it's short lived. We are going to expect to see showers make their way into Kern County again. So this is pretty much a live look, an active look at what we're expecting. We're seeing some drizzle make its way in through tonight. Then things start to clear up again tomorrow morning, but then there are another uh, possibility of rain come tomorrow evening. About 60% chances of rain tomorrow. So we'll get into the details in just a little bit. Right now, current conditions chilly across the board. 49 degrees in Arvin, 39. Lake Isabella, you're looking at 43 in Ridgecrest, 37 in Mojave. And we're also seeing 40 in Rosemond and 40, 50 in Bakersfield. And then taking a look at our 18-hour future cast, as far as the activity we're going to expect to see as you can see, it kind of looks like we're seeing those clearer conditions, but then we see the rain make its way through into uh, later this week, and I'll get into the full details in just a few minutes. Right now, though, let's look at those current conditions across the board. We're seeing 50s, 48 in Fresno, as well as San Francisco, also 56 in Los Angeles, 57 in San Diego. For our rain model, as far as what we saw over the last several days, I know for a lot of us, those travel plans were halted just because of how much rain we saw in all those road closures. We saw about an inch of rain here in Bakersfield, nine tenths of an inch in Lake Isabella. And then we're going to see things uh, get into just about a quarter of an inch of rain through Monday. For our snow model, we saw about one to four inches of snow at snow levels of 2,000 uh, uh, as well. And then we also saw three to eight uh, inches of snow into Hatchapi. So definitely, like I said earlier, our fair share of snow here in Kern County, we saw beautiful. And for those of you who spent uh, Thanksgiving indoors. It was a beautiful sight to see. It was a white Thanksgiving. For our valley forecast, we're seeing southeast winds at five miles per hour. Calm winds, uh, cool conditions, 50s pretty much across the board. You're looking at those 30s also in those later evening hours, mid to high 30s. And then in our mountains, we are expecting southeast winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts making their way up to 20 miles per hour. And we also see those 30s, similar conditions, just slight chances of snow again, about 30% chances of snow into this evening. Evening. For our desert forecast, we're seeing a wind advisory that will go into effect into tonight at 8 o'clock is when that will wrap up. We're looking at those 40s pretty much across the board later into tomorrow afternoon. For our valley forecast, we are seeing some slight chances of rain this weekend. Uh, pretty unlikely, though. It's going to be about a drizzle or so. And then we start to see things clear up into next week. We're looking at uh, definite possible chances of rain by next Wednesday is when we can expect to see those showers make their way into Kern County again. And similar conditions in the mountains. We're seeing uh, pretty much cloud coverage across the board this week. And then by Wednesday, we see another chance of rain into uh, next week is when we start to see that clear up again just slightly. But pretty much cloud cloudy conditions. Just keep that in mind. And cooler, of course, we're looking at those 30s and those later evening hours. Definitely chilly for us. And taking a look at our Kern Valley forecast, some similar conditions, just uh, we're expecting some mild chance of, of rain by tomorrow into 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And then we start to see a clear up. However, not exactly a clear up. We're still seeing those uh, clouds make their way into the region into those later week, um, later evening hours. And then we start to see uh, Wednesday is when we start to see showers again. So uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're not seeing, it's kind of like, Everyone was talking about the clear before the storm. Well, it's yeah. still not. The storm's not gone quite yet. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, snapshot. It looks beautiful. Sent in to us by Andrea Trujillo Ruiz, uh, Ma Mount Rainier. Rainier. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. Well, if you want to send us your weather snapshots, just head to snapshots at kget.com. We will share them on our newscast, and we love to see your photos. Yes. Absolutely. So. Definitely. And it's nice to see you made it back, Vanessa. I know. Yes. I, yes. That was a story of mine. Right? Yes. And uh, I got stuck. Well, 
technically, I mean, the grapevine was closed, so right. I had to take that 101 detour, Ooh, and did. now I a have a story trip, huh? to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling with Vanessa Dillon. Yeah. Exactly. Holiday, so. It was great. It was great. All right. All right. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. A lot. We'll take a look at closing numbers from the trading day. Well, there wasn't. Yeah, I guess there was a trading day yeah, today back on to Friday. Business they were back to business yeah. for one day. We'll take a look at them uh, coming up. But first, let's check in with Nick. He's on the road with a preview of a big night in sports. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, yeah, Valley title game this evening here at BCHS. When we come back, finish up your Black Friday shopping and come cheer on the Eagles this evening. BCHS is at home. When we come back, we're going to talk a little CBC and BCHS. When we come back, hang tight. We'll be right back for the title preview. The holidays are back again at BMW of Bakersfield, which means it's time to hit the road home. Whether you're just cruising a few blocks to your parents' house, conquering terrain, or racing along winding highways in the luxurious X5, the journey should be full of joy. That's the road home, and it begins now. This holiday season, make the most your road home. The BMW Road Home Sales Event. Receive a credit of up to $4,500 on select models now through December 2nd. In a single lifetime, a person experiences as many moments as there are stars in the sky. But to make a moment into a memory, you have to do something that will last forever. Give in the moment to live in the moment. For unmatched variety, from designer to custom crafted, there's only one place to go. Rogers Jewelry. Since 1937. Hey Bakersfield, it's off-road season and the savings are huge at Valley Cycle and Motorsports. From now till December 31st, take advantage of huge rebates and out-the-door pricing on all 2019 Polaris. And on December 14th, join us for our year-end celebration from 10 to 5. There will be prizes, food, and more. Say goodbye to dealers who charge excessive fees. Stay home and save with great deals every day, all day. Buy local. Save time, save money, and support local business. Save huge now through December 31st during the Polaris Sellbound. Only at Valley Cycle and Motorsports on Buck Owens Boulevard. People who win. People who strive. People who inspire. Inspiration in the spirit of the Golden Empire. 17 News. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by the Marketplace. Happy holidays from the Marketplace. Come get your photo taken with Santa this holiday. Hey, San Joaquin Valley. Thanks to your hard work, our air quality is improving. By working together, we can continue to clean up our valley's air. Together, we can pledge not to use wood-burning fireplaces. Together, we can never burn trash. Together, we can burn cleaner and burn less. It's up to all of us to improve our air. Together, we, we can, can improve, improve public, public health. health. For more information, visit checkbeforeyouburn.org. A message from the Valley Air District. Seventeen Sports is brought to you by Hungry Hunter Steakhouse. Open for lunch and dinner. All right, FFX Valley title game tonight. BCHS hosting Central Valley Christian in the Division Three showdown. That's right, Central Valley Christian making the road trip from Visalia tonight, trying to spoil the Eagles' sensational season. Seventeen Sports Director Nick James live tonight at Bakersfield Christian High School with the latest. Nick, good evening. Good evening, Jim and Tammy. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys yesterday. We were all off yesterday, so I'm wishing you guys happy Thanksgiving. Now, yeah, it's the Milk Bowl Part 2. August 30th, CVC lost at home against BCHS 36 to nothing. So BCHS has the upper hand, but it's tough to beat a team twice in one season. So getting to the joining me now is Blake Vandershaft, the BCHS athletic director. Now, Blake, take me through how this week was. I know all the kids were on break and admin was on break, but what did Coach Carr and the boys get accomplished this week? I know they had to practice. and. What what was it like for you? Yeah, with the rain, it made things a little more difficult. We had to tarp the field. Um, they had to practice on different fields, trying to keep the field up for par tonight. A lot of work on the field the last couple days, but they, you know, practiced yesterday and they practiced all week, and the field should be ready and the team's ready to go. Kind of talk about you guys are all healthy. I'm assuming David Stevenson, I know he tweaked his ankle last week, and they said they could have taped him up and he could have went back in. I'm assuming he's ready to go and he's playing tonight? He is playing. He's suited up and ready to go. Yep. Talk about, uh, I know you're a big Cowboys fan. Yep. Go, let's go to NFL for a second. Should Jason Garrett be fired? I know you're a Cowboys fan, 6-6 six and six now. Uh, should, should they run him out? I'm going to be honest with you. I think he should have been fired three years ago. But, hey, he's still here. Hey, you know, they're still, we still lead the division. So we're, we're okay. You know, they can win out here. We should make a playoff run. We'll see what happens. But 
<laughs> Jerry Jones a little a little uh, beat there trying to think we're going to make a Super Bowl run, but we'll see. You never know. Yeah. All right, Blake, thanks for joining me. I know you guys got a lot going on tonight and a big game tonight. And if you guys win this, it'll be, it'll be regionals and things of that nature. So hopefully you guys get a W tonight and you can host that next week. So I'm going to toss it back over to you. Coming to it from the Eagles Nest here, Jim and Tammy. And uh, BCHS is going to try to get a W. They won the section title back in 2016. They'll try to get it again tonight with a W. So joining you live from the Eagles Nest, Nick James, 17 Sports. And I'll toss it back over to you and see you guys in about 20 minutes. We'll have something that's special for Thanksgiving. Mm. All, right. All right. Happy Sounds Thanksgiving to you, Nick. Hope the Eagles fly tonight. Yes. All right. Did you hit the stores this Black Friday? Well, we'll take a look at the trend that's keeping some shoppers away from brick and mortar stores next in your 17 Business Watch. And it's the most wonderful time of the year with 0% APR on the 2019 Lincoln lineup. Bring joy to the world during the Lincoln Wishlist sales event at Jim Burke Lincoln. Holiday lights at Calm. Kern's 3 million light extravaganza is back for its 17th year to delight kids and adults alike. See new displays along with your favorites every night from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Purchase tickets at any Kern School's Federal Credit Union branch or at the Holiday Lights Gate. Holiday Lights was again voted Bakersfield's best annual event and named one of the top light shows in the western states. To see Holiday Lights, take Alfred Harrell Highway in northeast Bakersfield between Hart Park and Lake Ming and look for the lights in the sky. Jim Burke Lincoln. Select your price, payment, and protection plan. Get a trade-in offer. Pick up your vehicle. Easy, confident shopping. That's Jim Burke Lincoln. As the Golden Empire grows and your stories unfold, we're here as we've always been. Your leading source for important information. 17 News. Surround yourself with protection. Well, you can play. Yeah. The 2020 Nissan Altima. With available Safety Shield 360 technologies. Six systems that help look out for you. This is all around protection. This is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Get a low $199 per month lease on Altima. Or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 12 models. KGET Business Watch is brought to you by Grapevine MSP Technology Services, the Valley's leading IT service provider. And welcome back in tonight's 17 Business Watch. Stocks on Wall Street dropping today on the busiest shopping day of the year, Black Friday. Stocks fell in a shortened trading session, but still posted their best monthly performance since June. Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 112 points to close to 28,051. The Nasdaq lost 39 points. The S&P 500, 12 points lower in trading today. Checking oil prices now, WTI, the benchmark grade of U.S. crude, dropped about five cents on its barrel price, closing at $2, or rather $50. $55 barrel. And our local blend Midway Sunset crude down $2.94, closing at $58.92 a barrel. We continue to track gas prices for you here on 17 News. AAA says the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded gasoline today, $2.59. California's average, $3.82. And Kern County's average for a gallon of regular unleaded, $3.95. Our website, KGT.com, tracking the lowest prices for you in the Bakersfield market. Thanks to our friends at GasBuddy.com. Today, the lowest price we found, $3.45 a gallon. You can find it at the on-the-go food store, 2501 River Boulevard. These prices change from time to time. To find the best price in your neighborhood, go to our website, KGT.com, and trick on, uh, click on the traffic section to find them there. Well, the Thanksgiving Day feast is over and the hunt for bargains is on. This is Black Friday and across the country, shoppers are buying bargains online and waiting in line for the great deals. NBC's Dan Shineman has a look at Americans' determination to shop till they drop. Well, one tip is always start with a coffee. The hunt for Black Friday bargains starts before sunup. Well, we start bright and early in the morning, try to hit all the stores, get all the bargains before noon. It's a day to spend money and spend time with friends. I think it's the biggest thing, just tradition, kind of adding to that. Um, so, yeah, just the deals and, and having a good time. And for many stores and shoppers, Black Friday starts Thursday and no longer means a trip to the mall. 
I did most of it online. A lot of online shopping, and then these guys decided they wanted to experience Black Friday shopping this year, so I took them. American consumers are expected to spend most of their holiday budget online. That's the first time ever, but some shoppers still want to have a bargain in hand. Sometimes it's good to know you have the item and not order it and then get a refund or say it's out of stock after you've ordered it. The hunt for that perfect gift has just begun. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. Online spending is breaking records early and often. Shoppers spent $4.2 billion online Thanksgiving Day. That's a 14.5% increase from last year and a record high according to data released by Adobe Analytics. And Black Friday online sales were on track to hit 7 $4.4 billion, nearly half of the revenue on Turkey Day came from smartphone purchases, a 24% increase from last year. Another fitness, uh, another Planet Fitness is coming to Bakersfield. The new gym will be located at 731 Airport Drive in Oildale. It's set to open in the beginning of January. This will be the fourth location in Bakersfield. You can sign up online by visiting planetfitness.com. A group of teens took over the state capitol this Black Friday to push for more green. More on the specific demand this group has for Governor Gavin Newsom. New and next at 6 o'clock. Ford Black Friday Celathon with four days of doorbuster deals. Lease a 2019 Ranger for just $199 a month. And Friday only, get a $500 Amazon.com gift card on all our best sellers. Don't miss it. Your family's comfort is your number one priority. And dealing with an AC and heating breakdown can be quite the emotional setback. Since 1987, Holder's AC and Heating has been keeping current families comfortable through all their life seasons. Our business motto is simple, to be honest and transparent while providing extraordinary service. From AC and heating tune-ups to installations, your family's comfort is also our number one priority. Too cold or too hot, give Holder's a shot. Holder's. Current Schools Federal Credit Union is a local choice for your financial needs. But just because we're local doesn't mean you can't take us wherever your travels or life may be. Beyond traditional banking, Current Schools also offers the latest in mobile and digital banking, as well as access to over 30,000 ATMs nationwide. Simply download the Co-op ATM Locator app to find an ATM near you. And as we continue to grow, our focus on providing greater convenience to make your life easier and better will not change. Current Schools, serving our community for more than 80 years. Wall Street banks took advantage of millions of Americans during the recession. So my wife Kat and I took action. We started a nonprofit community bank with a simple theory. Give people a fair deal and real economic power. Invest in the community, in businesses owned by women and people of color, in affordable housing. The difference between words and actions matters. That's a lesson politicians in Washington could use right now. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message. The Ford Black Friday Celathon with four days of doorbuster deals. Lease the redesigned 2020 Explorer for just $2.99 a month. And Friday only, get a $500 Amazon.com gift card on all our vehicles. Don't miss it. How do I use better than bouillon? I just add a spoonful to my marinades. To stir fries? Sauces? Just whisk it in. Brush it on? Saute it. It adds a cooked all day taste. That doesn't take all day. Better than bouillon. Don't just make it, make it better. It's dinner time in America, and the breadwinner arrives home from a long day at work. Now the family can sit down at the table, where everyone knows to be mindful of their manners. Dinner time has changed. Our quality hasn't. Reynolds Wrap, foil made in the USA since 1947. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 6. Ski resort owners giving thanks to Mother Nature, a holiday storm system bringing a lot of hope for the ski season. 
And with Small Business Saturday set for tomorrow, some brick and mortar stores up north are clinging to survival after public safety power shutoffs. Good evening and thanks for joining us here for 17 News at 6. We'll have those stories and more coming up. But first this hour, we are saddened to report the passing of former state legislator Phil Wyman. Phil Wyman was a Tehachapi rancher, a staunchly conservative Republican, and a deeply religious man. He spent some 18 years in the California State Legislature. Wyman had a long run in the State Assembly, serving from 1978 to 1992, then two years in the State Senate from 1993 through 1994. And he returned to the State Assembly for a two-year stint in 2000. Phil Wyman loved politics and it seemed he was always running for something. He ran for Kevin McCarthy's vacated assembly seat in 2006 but lost to Gene Fuller. And in 2016 he made a bid for U.S. Senator Barbara Boxer's seat but came in fourth in the primary. Phil Wyman died yesterday of undisclosed causes. He was 74 years old. Funeral arrangements are pending.